Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. The death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, this bothers me for several reasons. Chief among them, America has lost a truly incredible woman and one of its best Supreme Court justices. But I'm more bothered by the shit heel Mitch McConnell and how before her corpse was even cold, he released a statement saying that the Senate would hold a vote on confirming a new justice on the Senate floor. And Mitch McConnell is also the man who said back in like 2016, before the election, we can't confirm a new justice because it's an election year. Everyone needs to go find that quote of his and retweet it to him ad nauseum forever and ever until he either relents or he reveals himself as the actual sentient turtle of hell that he is. I hate that I have to make a video on this before Ruth Bader Ginsburg is even in the ground. I really hate this. But this is a very dangerous time for America now because the, Rep the Republicans control the Senate and Mitch McConnell of course, the giant hypocrite that he is, is going to push through a vote to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg with, of course, a conservative justice. Now, a lot of people on Twitter are already talking about Roe versus Wade, and that's true. My issue is that if they stack the Supreme Court in their conservative favor, especially if it's a, I don't know, Trump appointee who donated millions of dollars to his campaign, I'm worried that if that happens, any challenge to the legitimacy of the 2020 election is going to be dismissed by this stacked conservative Supreme Court. That's what scares me more than Roe v. Wade, the legitimizing of abuse and seizure of power. But no one's talking about that because everyone's concerned about Roe v. Wade, which I get it. We should rightfully be worried about that. But the seizure of power or the dismissal of a legitimate challenge to the legitimacy of the election, that is what's bothering me today. And I don't see it talked about. And I hate, hate that I had to make a video about this before Ruth Bader Ginsburg is even in the ground. And I hate that no one is talking about the bigger picture here. And that ultimately is what's bothering me today.